Okay, so Shay, I haven't known you for a long time. I just met you in the house. I've actually seen you um, outside the house, but we never spoke. But I met you in the house, and I'll start from the most superficial thing. I think you're a very fine-looking young man. <laughs> but um, what I appreciate more than your looks is your brain. I think you're absolutely brilliant. I think you're very intelligent. I think your intellectual capacity is really, really high. And I like that you can solve puzzles that a lot of people, I myself, would struggle with, but you solve it like the quickest of time. Um, beyond your intellect, I appreciate your ability to be accountable. When you mess up, you know how to say, I fucked up and I'm sorry. And that's something that a lot of people lack. I really appreciate that about you. I also really appreciate your, um, you know how to lead, your leadership skills. I think you know how to speak to people to get them to do what you want them to do. And that's also a trait that I really admire and I would like to have that. Um, what else? Um, I like that you really, you know, appreciate and accept your culture in everything that you have. You don't try to be, you know, something that you're not. You're very comfortable in who you are and, you know, how you were raised. And you're not trying to deviate from that. I really appreciate that about you. And I also really like that you take correction with you. When somebody comes to you to say, you know, you did this to me and I didn't like this. You're able to say, oh, I understand where you're coming from. And that just shows that you have very good level of reasoning. I really appreciate that about you. So just like, I, oh, no, I forgot something. One of the things I really like about you is how you speak about your wife. I think a lot of people, a lot of men, or people don't speak about their partners the way you speak about your wife. And I really appreciate that she's very blessed to have you as a partner. And the way you speak about your son, I can tell that you would make a great father. And he has a very great role model to look up to. Just like Akopuna and Fama Tadu. Hello, how are you kids? Okay, so, doing David, you are a very strong woman, a woman that stands for what she believes in. You are the kind of friend that will put your any kind of your friend in their place. You are the kind of person that will check the sunlight out of the person and put the moon in place so that they know that they are doing what they're not supposed to do. And I really appreciate that. You are a loyal friend. Your default setting is loyalty. And I see you always being that loyal person. I appreciate the fact that you stand up for what you believe in regardless of if it is wrong or if it is right, and you are always willing to take a correction, only if placed in the right way, but you are always still willing to take a correction. You have, you, uh, I believe you have noticed your, cap your capacity to grow, and you are willing to grow in the direction that favors you and everybody else around. I believe you have that leadership trait that you are eager for, just that you need, just that you are looking for more of the attributes that you believe are required for it. I believe that your friendship with the Levi is a very unique thing that people don't quite understand. But you know, the work. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Hence the reason why I say your growth is something that we look forward to. Uh, you are a very articulate person and you know how to interpret your emotions and words. Just like our clear paper, you are literally a professor in your own domain. You you will be willing, to, in fact, you stand your ground, you are strong-willed, you are like the Amazonians, you are like the Dahomey women, you are strength, you are not weakness, you are a everyday close stepper, a close, a one step closer to perfection, but we are not God, so we still keep growing every day. And I appreciate you for the words of affirmation you said to me, and like Akafuna, you've been a for life.